Boom Supersonic last week announced that it had broken ground on its Super Factory, where its aircraft, Overture, will be produced from 2024. Boom Supersonic aims to build the world's fastest plane, hoping to have it enter into service by 2029. The factory, which is located in Greensboro, North Carolina, has already been chosen for the home. A 62-acre campus will see a final assembly line, test facility, and customer delivery center center installed, hopefully equipping Boom Supersonic with everything they would need to really get this aircraft in the air with customers, have it tested, and much more. The president of Boom Supersonic said today's groundbreaking for the Overture Super Factory represents a significant step forward in building sustainable and accessible supersonic travel for the world. This milestone is a shared one, and we are deeply appreciative of the input, leadership, and support of the Piedmont Triad Airport Authority, local community, and the state of North Carolina. Boom Supersonic say that 2,400 workers will eventually be hired by 2032 to work in the factory. The aircraft will, according to their timeline, have spent three years in service by 2032. 2022, though, was a year very important for Boom, signing strategic partnerships with various companies, while in addition, at the Farnborough Air Show, they revealed a radical design change that saw the aircraft gain an extra engine and several other adjustments to its core body and functionality. Despite groundbreaking on Yes! the facility, Boom is still up against the odds to create Overture. Its XB-1 demonstrator was scheduled for its first flight in the mid to late 2010s. However, in 2023, that seemingly isn't taking place, and further questions will surround whether following the radical design change that data collected potentially from an XB-1 flight now would actually even be relevant to the Overture overall. It presents many questions, and I think as best worded by Ed Bastian, the CEO of Delta, there are more questions than answers. With a first flight though for Overture slated in 2026 and an entry into service three years later in 2029, the timeline has always been something that was questioned heavily when exploring the program, among many other valid concerns that were present, from the feasibility to the costs and to even the engines. While Boom continues to announce further partnerships, there is still no firm engine actually there, and the clock is only continuing to tick and tick further down to where they are running out of time per their timeline. More doubts, therefore, will come into play, and more people will question whether this aircraft will ever actually fly. What are your thoughts? Do let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so, so much for your continued support. Do take care and be safe, and I'll see you next time.